Hello. If you are in Hartlepool and you're watching this, the chances are that this morning you've seen this. In the Hartlepool Mail, change is coming to Hartlepool. And it is. Now, over the coming weeks and months, you are likely to hear, particularly from the Labour Party, a lot of nonsense and rubbish about me and my party. So I want to say one or two things about this. On this website, you'll see a latest news category and a videos category. So in the interests of fairness and democracy, please listen to what I say and not what is said about me. And please read what I write and not what is written about me. What I advocate is not controversial, it's not radical and it's not new. It's democracy. We must have elected representatives who listen to and represent the interests of the electorate. That's all I'm calling for. There's nothing controversial about it. Now, what I want is a Hartlepool Council that spends your money in your interest. Now, we have a lot of problems in this town. It needs cleaning up. It needs more police. We have Cleveland has the highest crime rate in England and Wales. It needs jobs. We need houses. We need a bed in the NHS. What I'm calling for is a return to bread and butter politics. The games that politicians play in the chambers must stop. They've forgotten about you. They think it's all about them. It's not. They have a job to do and that job is to act in your interests and not theirs. Now, I am completely open. I will answer questions and criticisms openly. I have a live stream on YouTube on Monday nights at half past seven. Please check that out. But I will also be launching a live question and answer session with residents of Hartlepool on Facebook soon. Please do keep an eye on this website for more details about that. But that's what I am calling for. For years, for years, governments, the big two parties in particular, Labour and the Tories, have been completely ignoring you because they think they know better. Now, Brexit is a great example of that. People in many towns, including Hartlepool, voted to leave the European Union. But the big parties, particularly the Labour Party, thought they knew better. And then they went about trying to ignore your vote and get it overturned. But this happens across the board. Mass immigration is another issue. The people of this country have made it clear time and time again they want less immigration, but the political class isn't listening because they think they know better. They take your vote for granted. They assume you're going to go out and vote them back in again. So they think that they're perfectly, it's perfectly easy for them to ignore you. It has to stop. This arrogance from politicians has to stop. Again, what I'm proposing isn't radical. It's a return to bread and butter politics, which is making your streets clean and safe. Making sure you have a job, a decent house, good school for your kids, a hospital bed in the NHS when you need it. That's the job of government. That's where they should spend your money, but they don't. They waste it and then cut your services. It has to stop. And we can only stop it when we change how we vote and we don't listen to lies and propaganda from the main parties who have a self-interest in this. They don't want any competition. They don't want other parties or political groups breaking through to challenge that status quo. Change is coming. It is. It has to. So I want to thank everyone who has been in touch with me this morning to offer me their good wishes. It's, it's been an incredible morning. And I want to thank people across Hartlepool in general for contacting me either to ask for help or to extend their support. I really, it's heartwarming and I really am truly grateful. So please do keep coming back to this website. I'll be updating it a couple of times a week from now on. And instead of listening to what other people say about me, listen to what I say myself. I think you'll find that you agree with quite a lot. Keep coming back to this website. Thank you all for your time. And I hope to hear from and speak with as many people in Hartlepool as I can in the coming months. Thanks for your support.